Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon Frayne. We are back with another video. Today, we're talking about BitTensor Tau versus Near Protocol, a showdown of the two leading artificial intelligence protocols in the crypto industry. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. And again, don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin linked below in the description. It is my gift to you. So let's take a look at Tau versus Near. Okay, so if I jump over to CoinGecko very quickly and I filter by categories and artificial intelligence, what we have here is a list of the leading AI protocols in the crypto space ranked by overall market cap. We can see that BitTensor Tau is the 42nd largest crypto protocol sitting at $2.87 billion in market cap and near protocol currently sitting at $2.6 billion. These are the two leaders in the AI industry when it comes to everything in the crypto space. First of all, let's talk about BitTensor. You guys know I've been talking about BitTensor a lot on the channel lately. I have become enamored with this entire ecosystem, all of the subnets, all of the innovation happening, and we can currently see that BitTensor is sitting at a price of $321 per token. If I jump over to the BitTensor website, I will forgive you for thinking little of BitTensor based on the website because agreeably, it is not a, an amazing website when it comes to explaining what BitTensor and the Tau ecosystem actually does. You do have to kind of jump into the white paper and the detail white paper in order to get a better technical understanding. But for all intents and purposes, BitTensor is a network of networks and those individual networks or subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem are their own individual businesses essentially competing to earn and provide valuable information to the BitTensor network and receive Tau as rewards as a result of doing that. So you can jump in and look at the technicals in terms of BitTensor being a peer-to-peer -peer intelligence market. It has borrowed a lot from the frameworks and the tokenomic structure of Bitcoin with a 21 million limited hard cap supply. The artificial intelligence narrative is the narrative of this cycle. We've got the biggest companies on the planet competing in the world of artificial intelligence. And you can check out more on the BitTensor website if you want to dive deep into that. I will shout out another tool called Taustat which gives you a lot of very valuable information on all of those individual subnets that I just referenced. It ranks all of these subnets based on the emissions that they're earning, again, from providing valuable proof of intelligence information to the network as a whole. All of these individual subnets get rewarded in Tau every single day. We are going to have a Tau halving event by January of 2026. And so the emissions here being paid out to all of these miners is very, very valuable. And they're competing against one another, almost in like a Hunger Games type of uh, scenario, because if they provide more valuable information to the network, they receive more rewards and they are incentivized to continue to improve their own individual contributions to the network as a whole. I hope this is making sense. It's definitely not simple to understand BitTensor and the underlying mechanics of all the subnets, but I encourage you to dive in and try to understand this at a little bit of a deeper level because I do expect some amazing price action for BitTensor over the coming months and years. Again, this is not financial advice, guys. Always do your own research from a fundamentals perspective and from a technicals perspective. But number two in the list here, the biggest competitor to BitTensor right now in terms of total crypto market cap is Near Protocol. If I jump over to the Near website, again, we can see the blockchain for AI is what they call out specifically on their website. I will admit from doing my own research and looking at the initial Near white paper, there is zero mention of artificial intelligence in the white paper for Near protocol. I know a lot of you are going to come in the comments and tell me that the founders were kind of OGs in the AI space. And yes, I don't deny that. But when they wrote the Near protocol white paper, it was more focused on a layer uh, one protocol for decentralized applications in general without any mention of artificial intelligence. Again, what I've seen in the recent couple of years is a pivot in the near protocol stance to hone in more on that vision for artificial intelligence to try and become that layer one go-to solution for artificial intelligence and decentralized applications in tandem. But go and read the white paper, the words artificial intelligence or AI are not mentioned one time 
in the near protocol white paper. So again, more of a pivot, and you could argue maybe a bit of a marketing stance to get more attention for the near protocol when it comes to this AI narrative that is clearly the largest narrative of the cycle. But not taking anything away from near, I do like the fact that there is a large amount of on-chain data that backs up and supports widespread adoption here. You've got daily active addresses comparing Solana, Ethereum, SUI base, Tron, and near protocol on this particular list. And what we have here in white is near protocol, pretty much second only to Solana when it comes to daily active addresses. You've got, you know, three to 3.5 million consistent daily active addresses here. Now, apparently the majority of these daily active addresses are coming from one specific decentralized application in the Asia market that contributes the majority of what's happening here in terms of on-chain activity for near protocol. And I'm not sure how much of an AI stance that particular application has, but all intents and purposes, you've got near protocol being a real competitor here in terms of daily active addresses and on-chain adoption in a very consistent way for the past three months and even beyond that. Okay. So not taking anything away from near, I just think BitTensor is a little bit better when it comes to artificial intelligence fundamentals. And if I jump over to the charts again, what I want to do here is I want to map the price action of BitTensor against near protocol. If I click into this particular chart, I come into trading view, we're going to map BitTensor tau against near protocol let's use the binance exchange data here and if we price tau in terms of near tau is the base asset on this chart near is the quote asset what you're basically seeing in terms of a trend here is tau significantly performing near protocol over the past couple of years based on the price action on this chart. So again, I'm trying to look at the data. I'm honing in on, you know, the use cases for each of these protocols. I'm honing in on, you know, understanding the technicals as well. And what I'm seeing here in pure price action data on the chart is that Tau has significantly outperformed near protocol to the, to the extent of about 250% over the past 368 days. So the past one year, Tau has outperformed near by 246%. Again, that is my personal opinion that BitTensor has more potential than near protocol as a leading AI competitor to centralized permissioned AI, like the likes of OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, et cetera. But when you look at the data, the data also reflects the fact that when we're being purely objective about it, Tau has outperformed near by 250% over the past year. So BitTensor is definitely not to be underestimated. I'm not saying near protocol cannot go up in price. In fact, I do think it will. And I, you can check out the price prediction for near protocol on my channel. I will leave a link at the top of the screen for that as well. But when I'm being objective about the data, and even from my own fundamental research, I do think Tau has more potential and we can see that reflected in the data. We can see that reflected in Tau having a current larger market cap than near protocol. And the fact that we're seeing price action continuing in this uptrend here that we've had for the past couple of years. And I do think that will continue as we move through the rest of this cycle and beyond. Okay, let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about near protocol versus BitTensor Tau? Which one are you holding in your portfolio? Maybe you're holding both. Let me know the prices that you think each of these respective assets can get to by the peak of this particular bull cycle as well. But when I look at the data and when I look at the fundamentals, I think BitTensor is poised as one of the chosen protocols to be a leading AI in this crypto space and in general as a real competitor to centralized entities running AI as well. That is it for today's video, guys. Remember, if you got any value at all out of this analysis between BitTensor and Near Protocol, please just take three seconds, drop a thumbs up on the video. It would mean the world to help spread the good word about AI and crypto. I know you are interested in this space, so let's spread that good word to other people. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon as well. And like I said at the beginning, you've got a completely free copy of the Rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below this video. Grab it now and we'll catch you in the next one.